Hi there, it's Kathy Cates and Melissa Hines from the Institute for Pelvic Health. And you're watching Demystifying the Pelvic Floor, weekly videos providing real and simplified pelvic floor education for real clinical situations. We've got you covered. And today we're gonna to be talking about BV and how this can affect your pelvic floor muscles. So BV is a common vaginal infection in women in their reproductive years. In the United States, the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey estimated the prevalence of BV was 29% in general population of women ages 14 to 49 years old and 50% in African-American women. So BV can cause some pelvic floor dysfunction, especially if it's recurrent BV. Um, this BV is characterized by a shift in vaginal flora from an acidic environment with acid producing lactobacilli to a mixture of anaerobic and facultative microorganisms. And this shift alters the ability of the pelvic floor muscles to function optimally. The more basic pH affects the venous and nervous system. And you can see this picture here um, where all those pudendal nerve endings are right in that vulvar area. Um, and they can get really hypersensitive and then cause muscle hypertonicity along with that. Your patients with recurrent BV should be assessed by a pelvic floor therapist to get a full picture of the pelvic floor muscles. And if they could be um, contributing to some of their pain, irritation from the recurrent BV. All right, so we all know to treat our patients with the appropriate course of antibiotics for bacterial vaginosis. However, what do we do when your patient comes back with pelvic pain, vaginal discharge, you repeat all the vaginal cultures, you maybe even do the wet mount microscopy again and everything is negative. So we're, now we know we're gonna think about hypertonicity of the pelvic floor as one underlying etiology. And Melissa and I learned about the use of vitamin C vaginal tablets taken six days per month can safely have the risk of BV. And we'll drop the link for that research study in the comment section below. So what we learned is that after treatment of BV with antibiotics, recurrences are common, and about 60 to 70% of women will have a recurrence of BV in three months. While research shows the effectiveness of oral probiotics for gut health and yeast overgrowth, emerging research is starting to show the benefits of vaginal or rectal probiotic suppositories and vitamin C to help improve the vaginal microbiome and prevent recurrences. So vaginal vitamin C is available as silicone coated tablets containing 250 milligrams of ascorbic acid. This formulation is able to release the vitamin over hours, allowing a statistically significant vaginal pH lowering effect. Teach your patient that the vitamin C should be inserted vaginally six times per month. And what we learned from this study is that this can cut the recurrence rate from 32.4% to 16.2%. And be sure to advise your patients to find ascorbic acid in its purest form with no additives. And that's a wrap. Did you like this video? If so, hit like and subscribe. Please share with your colleagues and comment below to let us know your biggest challenges in providing care for your patients with recurrent BB and subscribe to our email list at instituteforpelvichealth.com to get your free guide, four tips for managing your challenging pelvic exam. You'll get access to our free weekly pelvic health content. And be sure to find us on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn, where we'll post more pelvic health tips. We're super excited to announce we're developing an online pelvic health course for nurse practitioners. Our course will break down the pelvic floor so that you can confidently care for your patients with pelvic floor dysfunction. By simplifying the pelvic floor, we'll improve patient outcomes and your provider experience. Thanks for watching and spreading the word. Let's revolutionize pelvic health. We'll see you soon.